What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build-A video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the milestone assignments. A lot of you guys are having issues with knowing how to rotate uh, upgrades, when to cancel, what to do, all that good stuff. So this person put up a post asking some questions and it was super confusing the way it was written. So I had him uh, rephrase it in the comments section and we're gonna take a look if you guys are wondering if the milestone assignments are affecting uh, the way that the main list works, y yes, kind of. Okay, and we're going to talk about that and, and when you should be claiming those points and whatnot. So, first let's answer his question. He says, I'm a low-level player now. Uh, is it better for the upgrade task to appear later than for the upgrade task to all appear very early. So here's the thing. Before the milestone, you guys were trying to stack up upgrades. You didn't want, the, at that point, you didn't want them to pop up too early or too late, right? You just wanted them to kind of pop up every so many assignments and that way you had enough doorways that you could utilize until you got to the point where you started streaks. That's no longer the case. So now all that having upgrades comes in doing for you guys it's just basically a negative there's no positive to you guys having upgrades in the main list at all so anytime that you have upgrades rolling in it's not a good thing okay um, at this point there is no benefit to having upgrades roll in now what does it mean in terms of how to rotate your other assignments every time that you have an assignment in your list that you cannot do that's one less of an of a slot that you can do right so if your upgrades are rolling in that quick all that means is that you're running out of uh, available doorways to utilize for better assignments you have the assignments that are always in your list like storage and, and monster and uh, coins keys repair whatever and then you have all these upgrades, you're gonna have very little space for much of anything to pop up. So what you have to determine is what upgrade assignments can you get rid of? Meaning, which ones can you cancel? If you cancel, uh, should you cancel one or should you cancel two? So the rule of thumb is that if you have four or more main tasks, so tasks that are 2000 points or higher, then that you're not doing, then you need to figure out how to open up one of those place values. For example, I had somebody this week, they had a storage for uh, 3,000. They had a 2,000 Tokyo upgrade, a 2,000 Paris upgrade, and then they had uh, another 2,000 point task that they could not do. So there they have four main tasks, all of which they can't do. The storage one, even if they could do it, it doesn't bring in better, you know, options because it's just going to come right back. So what they needed to do is they needed to open up one of their their place values, right? They have to determine which one to cancel. First, look at the upgrade in which you're canceling. If it's at its highest value point, then and it's been sitting the longest then you would go ahead and cancel that one you need to also look at the doorways so if you have uh tokyo and paris they can both be worth three thousand points okay so there's it's not like oh we're gonna pick tokyo over paris because it's worth more or whatever They're, they can both be worth the same amount of points tokyo uh had come in sooner than the paris paris had been sitting there from the the beginning i believe so normally we would cancel the Paris because it's been sitting there the longest, but we also need to look at the doorway. The Tokyo happened to be covering up one of their good doorways. So it made sense to go with canceling the Tokyo. Now, immediately didn't get a good assignment. So we went with a double cancellation. The double cancellation usually does like what we call a list reset. And it usually, uh, instead, usually what happens is you cancel one upgrade if you have four or more um, place values taken up, you cancel one upgrade and then you get a few assignments out of it and then the upgrade comes back, you're right back where you started and you don't have any 
place values open. So if you have four or more main tasks taken up, okay, you do a double cancel, double, immediately, back to back. You don't try to rotate anything else. You just do a Tokyo and then, or, you know, cancel your Tokyo and cancel your Paris. Then if you do get one of the upgrades back, you still have a slot available. And it usually, because you're canceling two, it drops your average a little bit. And then it usually results in a list reset. Okay. Let's say that you, uh, you don't have four or more main tasks taken up. Let's say that you just got like a, a Latin for 3,600. It's been sitting there a while. Uh, you haven't had any good assignments come in. Maybe it's blocking your good doorway. You're, you can go ahead and try to cancel it. Okay. You should not cancel more than three to four upgrades in any one contest ever. So if you've done a single cancellation and it came back, you did a few more assignments. Now you try a double cancellation. If that doesn't work, usually by then, uh, it's best to just do the best that you can. But the most you would ever want to cancel is four times. Okay. Because that's 8,000 points if you run a 2k average. So that's how you guys are going to do your, your upgrade, uh, cancellations. Now look at the value possibility. If you have an old town for 2,400 and you have a regular residential for 2,400 and then a Tokyo for 2,000, you're going to do a double cancellation on the what? You're going to do the regular residential for 2,400 and the Tokyo for 2,000. You're not going to cancel the old town or the Latin because it can come back worth more than what it's already there for. The other two would be lower. Okay. So Tokyo can come back for more, but not more than what the Latin can come back for. Or the old town can come back for. So you guys want to make sure that you look at what the value possibility is before you cancel. All right. Uh, the next thing is, is he says, I did more than 20 tasks this week and all seven upgrade assignments appeared. The speed of doing assignments becomes much slower. Maybe the upgrade assignments appeared too early, which reduces the flexibility of doing assignments. How to solve this problem? If the above situation occurs, do I need to delete the upgrade task all the time to improve the flexibility of doing the assignment? So I think what he's trying to say is, if I get all my upgrades in too fast, then I can't really complete anything. My, my week starts moving really slow. How do I keep this from happening? If it happens, what do I do? Okay, so you can't really necessarily keep upgrades from rolling in, but there are certain assignments that you rotate that can cause a higher chance of upgrades rolling in. For example, if you recently rotated a war booster, that usually will trigger upgrades to roll in, okay? Um, if you rotated low premiums when you had like little to no higher tasks, you know, you got to look at your value points that can result in that as well. But overall, if the game is going to flood you with upgrades, it's going to flood you with them. And there's really nothing you can do to stop it. All you can do is get as many of them, you know, figured out as possible. Like, like, let's say that, uh, You, you've got all seven upgrades. They're already there. So what you would want to do is you wouldn't want to cancel right away because odds are they would just come right back, right? You would want to do some assignments and then figure out which ones you're going to cancel based on value possibility and, uh, you know, the placement in the list and how long they've been there and all that. And then you're going to do a double cancel, okay? depending on your surrounding assignments and all that good stuff. But if you have seven upgrades plus the assignments that are always in your list, odds are you're going to have to do a double cancel because you don't have anything else going for you. However, if you're close to the end, you know, maybe uh, you have, you're on tickets or something, then don't bother. Just try to get as many points as you can. If you are past a certain point, then you don't cancel. And I believe the threshold for that that I set was uh, 
20 assignments remaining if you're not using tickets. If you're using tickets, I believe it was 15. Yeah, 15. So 20 assignments remaining. If you're not using tickets, you can still do a cancellation if you need to, but don't do a double cancel. And then 15 assignments remaining. If you're using tickets, you can still do a double cancel, okay? So the reason being is that you have to say, okay, if every assignment is uh, basically worth 2,000 points in the overall average, like that's what you're aiming for, then a cancellation, you're losing 2,000 points on your average. You have to have two 3,000 point assignments to make up for one cancellation, right? Anything more than four cancellations in any round of the contest is going to be a really hard hit on your score. But what you don't want to have happen is that you just keep getting garbage assignments because you didn't cancel. That could be worse on your score than just canceling, right? Try your best to uh, determine if you need a double or a single cancel. Single cancels, like I said, they usually, are, the only time you do a single cancel is when you have uh, your main tasks taken up. And they're probably not all upgrades. Like, let's say you've got like a storage 3K, a dozer 2K. Um, maybe the monster isn't there for a whole day and a half and it's for, you know, 2,000. That would be three of them taken up and then you got hit with like a, a Tokyo for 2,000. That's four main tasks taken up. So the only one that you can really cancel would be the Tokyo. I would go ahead and do a single cancellation on that. Uh, that pretty much answers your question, hopefully, you guys. But one thing that you want to remember is with these new milestone assignments, everything is changing in terms of the risk with the, with the streak. So, like, a lot of you guys are so used to not doing your epic projects if they're below 2,000 points, if you're low-level players. That is now changing. Okay, the epic project usually comes back multiple times. So what you'll do is you'll complete the epic for the points that it's asking. Then you can go ahead and stop adding points. You're going to rotate a few assignments and then the epic will probably return. If that happens, then you can keep doing your epic until you finish it. Okay. Um, if let's say you're missing like four points on your epic. Like, let's say you have, I don't know, you have two points left to finish your epic, but you need four points for your assignment. You can over donate, kind of like how you overkill on a, a jackpot. So if you need to, you can donate to like a one pointer, leaving you one epic point to finish. And then you donate to like a four pointer. And that would give you enough to go over the amount. And it will count towards your assignment. Okay? Uh, let's see. I think that's it. So I do have some other videos coming out about the milestone assignments and when you should be collecting the points. If you have any questions, put it down in the comment section or put it on our Facebook page.